This is the DTM Recommentator. And basically keep you up to date on all the soap opera drama going on in Dan McDonald's life. Anytime Dan says something ridiculous, well, I don't have that kind of time. And I've gone back and forth over the years, you know, real clean on fruit. And then I'll go and have like cashew pies and get into all the nuts and the gourmet for a while. And just, I'm always experimenting. I want to know. That's why I went on a super high fat diet. Fat did not do any damage to me. It didn't slow me down on my cardio. I beg to differ. It actually really brought a lot of balance. And then it got to a point where, yes, it's too much. And now I'm back on super low fat. But that's because Tavis inspired me and, and really has been a big influence on my life. Lou Corona, a huge influence on my life more and more because uh, it really some of the things that happened over the last year brought a lot of us together. You know, I look forward to oh. <laughs> oh, I think I know what he means. Yeah, nothing brings people together. <laughs> like outcasting other people. To really getting to know Doug Graham better, the honest to God's truth is I had a huge ego and I was all resistant to that. And you know what? This last And you know what? This last year of my life has washed away a lot of that stuff. And uh, I do look forward to, I wasn't going to mention any names, but I look forward to. So he had a huge ego, and, and this is just a year ago. But that's over now. <laughs> because half my diet is literally orange juice. I probably drink a gallon of orange juice every day. Breakfast and lunch, and then I have like a salad or something, or some fruit, or some grapes, or some watermelon. How did this guy become a success? How does he get so many fans, like they gravitate towards him? Jesus. And I live off the liquid and the fruit, and you should too. But it's going to take you some time because you're going to, oh, I tried that fruit thing, and I went from a standard American diet to a fruit diet, and I got sick. I felt terrible. Then when I went back, you weren't aware of years and years and years of slime sludge waste metabolic debris that the oranges and the apples and the grapes were just trying to break loose. goes into the bloodstream. Your head gets all fuzzy. It's not that the fruit thing doesn't work for you because you are a fruitarian, period, the end. It doesn't matter what anyone tries to say. You are designed for fruit. I mean, my experience is that when I eat the mono fruits, I'm on top of my game. Boom, look out, my head is on fire, my heart is on fire, clean, pure, pristine. Mono fruit meals is the best way to eat if you want to have clarity and energy and a solid, clean, pure blood. It's not that the fruit diet didn't work. It's that your body was too toxic and you are a fruitarian. You just need to give it time. Where have I heard that before? What's that? We can't hear you all the way from Australia.